Hello. Uh, in the previous two lessons, we completed machine learning, uh, virtual reality, and augmented reality under the topic 16, uh, emerging technologies. So today we are going to learn the third and the last emerging technology, which is uh, Internet of Things, uh, shortened as IoT. Uh, you will get questions uh, from emerging technologies in your ID uh, unit 3 paper. Right. Uh, according to your edXL A-level IT specification, uh, under emerging technology, Internet of Things, uh, these are the areas mentioned in your spec that you need to know. Um, understand the concept of IoT, impact of IoT to individuals, organizations and data, infrastructure of IoT, security issues related to IoT and uh, you should be able to do high level designs for IoT systems. Uh, the Internet of Things IoT describes the uh, Network of physical objects that are embedded with sensors, software and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with the other devices and systems uh, over the internet or the cloud. In simple term, uh, the term IoT or Internet of Things refers to the collective network of connected devices and the technology that facilitates communication between devices and the cloud. Uh, as well as between the devices themselves as well. So how does IoT work? Uh, a typical IoT system work through the real-time collection and exchange of data. An IoT system has three components, uh, smart devices, IoT application and the graphical user interface. Uh, the smart device, uh, this is a device like a television, security camera or exercise equipment that has been given uh, computing capabilities. It collects data from its environment, uh, user inputs or usage patterns and communicates data over the internet to and from its IoT application. Uh, and the second component which is IoT application is a collection of services and software that integrates data received from various IoT devices. Uh, it uses machine learning or artificial intelligence technology to analyze this data and make uh, informed decisions. These decisions are communicated back to the IoT device and the IoT device then responds intelligent to, uh, intelligently to the inputs. And the third component is the graphical user interface. Uh, the IoT device so uh, fleet of devices can be managed through a graphical user interface. Uh, common such examples include uh, a mobile application or website that can be used to register and control smart devices. Uh, now let's look at the infrastructure of IoT. <coughs> there are components that we need to learn. Uh, sensors, network, embedded system and the storage. So look, uh, so let's look at each of these. Sensors, uh, sensors collect data from the <coughs> environment and sends those data real time to IoT cloud storage. Uh, sensors makes IoT solutions trigger responses real time based on the sensory data transmitted. Uh, sensors must uh, connect to the internet. A uh, few examples are uh, light sensors, so data about light intensity or its absence and then we have temperature sensor, uh, it measures the temperature and the humidity sensor, humidity level in the air and uh, air, soil or even its surroundings and then we have sound sense sensor, uh, sound level uh, and then motion sensor detects presence or absence of a motion. And the second component is network. Uh, networks are devices and components that enable connectivity of IoT devices with the cloud to send data or receive actions and information. Uh, commonly used networks are Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee and Ethernet. An appropriate router must be used to connect the network to the internet to transmit data. And then the third component is embedded system. 
uh, embedded system is the combination of physical objects and uh, and embedded systems technology that enable them to connect and communicate with uh, each other and the internet uh, they uh, they include microcontrollers sensors and uh, and the characteristics of the this iot component are uh, it's small form factor it takes small space uh, these are power efficient components and these are not expensive uh, so in uh, it incurs lower cost so it's better to know some examples for embedded systems uh, uh, embedded systems are used in uh, central heating systems, GPS systems, uh, med fitness trackers, and then medical devices, and even in ATMs and factory robots, electric vehicle charging stations, and also in uh, interactive kiosk as well. Uh, the fourth and the last IoT infrastructure component is the storage. So, what is uh, iot storage uh, storing the data across the internet of things so volumes of sensory data transmitted real time stored in uh, an iot storage and this is typically on the cloud uh, the storage is connected to a uh, iot processor that process data using machine learning and ai to find insights and information and these insights may trigger actions and responses back to the embedded systems or inform the GUI software uh, that humans interact with. Uh, if you think you have never heard of the Internet of Things, IoT, chances are you have probably heard of it without realizing it. Uh, because you are probably even utilizing IoT at this very moment. Uh, Fitbits, Apple Watches, uh, smart thermostats and other app controlled appliances are all, all IoT, right? And without a doubt, they are changing our lives in more, more ways than we can count. For an example, uh, connected devices could change your entire morning routine. When you hit the snooze button, your alarm clock would automatically get the coffee machine to turn on and open your window blinds. Your refrigerator uh, would auto-detect finishing groceries and order them from uh, for home delivery. Your smart oven would tell you the menu for the day. It might even cook pre-assembled ingredients and make sure your lunch is ready. Uh, your smartwatch will schedule meetings as you connected the uh, car automatically sets the gps to stop for a full refill the opportunities are endless in an iot world so iot helps uh, improve our well-being and quality of life uh, fitness trackers and other wearable smart technologies help people function every day and it helps track daily activities such as sleeping patterns calorie intake heart rate and many more so this will help people uh, assess their health and can even help determine or prevent any complications. Uh, IoT also helps people live smarter and be more efficient. Uh, IoT devices increase our safety as well. The smart security systems be installed, uh, the smart locks, uh, security cameras and more help us stay safe within our homes and also help enhance uh, fire safety and detect fire or smoke as soon as possible and uh, we can automate to call uh, emergency services right uh, where do you see iot devices we can see iot devices anywhere and everywhere right uh, in smart homes uh, smart home devices are mainly focused on improving the efficiency and safety of the house uh, as well as improving home networking uh, devices like uh, smart outlets monitor electricity usage and uh, smart thermostats provide uh, better temperature control. Uh, hydrophonic systems can use IoT sensors to manage the garden while uh, IoT smoke detectors can detect tobacco smoke. And home security systems like door locks, security cameras and water leak detectors can detect and prevent threats and sell, uh, send alerts to uh, the homeowners. Uh, connected devices for the home can be used for 
uh, automatically turning off devices not being used uh, automatically turning off the air conditioner rental property management and maintenance and finding misplaced items like keys or the wallets and also automating daily tasks like vacuuming making coffee and etc and uh, and in smart cities uh, iot applications have made urban planning and infrastructure maintenance more efficient uh, governments are using iot applications to tackle problems in infrastructure health uh, and the environment uh, iot applications can be used for measuring air quality and uh, radiation levels uh, reducing energy bills with smart lighting systems uh, detecting maintenance needs for crucial infrastructure such as uh, streets uh, bridges and pipelines uh, increasing profits through efficient parking management uh, so those are some things that uh, we can see in the smart cities and also in the smart buildings uh, such as uh, Buildings such as college campuses and commercial buildings use IoT applications to uh, drive greater operational efficiencies. IoT devices can be used in uh, smart buildings for reducing energy consumption, lowering maintenance cost, uh, utilizing the workspace more efficiently. So there are like huge benefits using IoT uh, in these sectors. Uh, you can see IoT devices in your smart home buildings, factories, uh, smart transport systems, and then in healthcare and in the businesses and uh, electricity, power grids, and also uh, we have the concept smart cities. So everywhere we can see the IoT devices uh, to enhance the lifestyle uh, of the society. So we learned what is IoT. So what is IIoT, also, which is industrial IoT? Uh, industrial IoT refers to smart devices used in manufacturing, retail, health and other enterprises to create uh, business efficiencies. Uh, industrial devices from sensors to equipment give business owners uh, detailed real-time data that can be used to improve the business processes, uh, ultimately the business profit and they provide insights on supply chain management, logistics, uh, human resource planning and production and decreasing the cost and increasing revenue streams. So let's look at existing smart industrial systems in, uh, if, in different verticals. So you get you get a feel of how IIoT is used in uh, these uh, different uh, industrial systems. Okay, so in manufacturing, uh, the examples for IIoT in this space in manufacturing enterprise IoT uh, in manufacturing uses predictive maintenance uh, to reduce unplanned downtime and wearable technology to improve worker safety and IoT applications can predict machine failure before it can happen uh, so reducing the production downtime and the wearables in helmets and wristbands as well as computer vision cameras are used to warn workers about potential hazards so uh, so those are the areas that uh, iot is used in manufacturing and let's look at how how it is used in automobile industry uh, uh, sensor driven analytics and robotics increase uh, efficiency in automobile manufacturing and maintenance uh, for an example industrial sensors are used to provide uh, 3d real-time images of internal vehicle components uh, diagnostics and troubleshooting can be done much faster uh, without uh, having to uh, go uh, uh, removing all the parts and go go and find the problem so it can be much faster while the iot system orders uh, replacement parts automatically uh, because it can detect and then it can place the uh, uh, orders automatically for the missing parts or the broken parts and then in logistics and transport uh, uh, in logistics and transport also uh, there are so many iot examples commercial and industrial iot devices can help with the uh, supply chain management including the inventory management vendor relationships fleet management and 
schedule maintenance, uh, shipping companies use uh, industrial IoT applications to keep track of assets and optimize fuel consumption on shipping routes. Uh, the technology is especially useful for uh, tight temperature control in refrigerated containers. Uh, supply chain managers make informed prediction through smart routing and rerouting algorithms uh, in their transport system. Okay, and then uh, how, let's see how it's used in retail industry. Uh, Amazon is driving innovation in automation and human machine collaboration in retail. Uh, Amazon facilities make use of internet connected robots for tracking location, sorting. Uh, and uh, and storing and dispatching and everything using IoT. Right. So now uh, it's interesting to hear that uh, a forecast by International Data Corporation, IDC, uh, they estimate that there will be 41.6 billion IoT devices by year 2025. So more devices means more problems. Uh, I have listed down 11 such IoT security issues. Let's see what uh, these are. Okay, first one, uh, weak authentication and authorization. Uh, many IoT devices come with the default or easily guessable credentials, allowing attack attackers to uh, gain unauthorized access and control over the device. Uh, potentially compromising the entire network and the second one is uh, lack of encryption uh, data transmitted between the iot devices and servers without encryption can be uh, intercepted by malicious at, uh, actors uh, uh, leading to data breaches manipulation of device functionality and unauthorized access to uh, sensitive information third is uh, insecure apis APIs are used for communication between IoT devices and servers. Uh, so it may lack proper authentication and access controls, which enables attackers to manipulate device functionalities, extract sensitive data, or perform unauthorized actions on the network. And four is vulnerable firmware. Uh, outdated or unpatched firmware in IoT devices may contain known security vulnerabilities which attackers can exploit uh, to gain unauthorized access, manipulate device functionality, or launch further attacks uh, within the network. Uh, fifth one is lack of secure update mechanisms. Uh, uh, normally, IoT devices without secure update mechanisms are unable to receive patches for newly discovered vulnerabilities. So it leaves them exposed to exploitation and compromised by attackers seeking to infiltrate the network. And the sixth one is insecure network uh, configuration. Mm. So poorly configured networks for IoT devices such as uh, open ports or default settings create opportunities for attackers to gain uh, unauthorized access, intercept data uh, transmissions or launch attacks against the devices or the network itself is a security issue. And the seventh one is uh, data privacy concerns. Uh, IoT devices often collect and transmit uh, uh, sensitive personal data without adequate safeguards, risking privacy breaches and exposure of uh, personal information to unauthorized parties, uh, potentially leading to identify uh, identity theft or uh, other forms of exploitation. Number eight is physical security. Uh, uh, unsecured physical ac uh, access to IoT devices allows attackers to physically tamper with them, uh, extract sensitive information or compromise their functionality, uh, posing a significant risk to the overall security of the network. Number nine is the denial of service, DOS, uh, DOS attacks. IoT devices can be hijacked and used as part of uh, botnets to launch DOS attacks. Uh, flooding the network or the servers with traffic and disrupting the service. Uh, it can cause downtime and financial uh, losses for the organizations. 
tenth one is lack of uh, manufacturer support uh, uh, iot devices may receive uh, uh, limited or no support from the manufacturers leaving them uh, vulnerable to emerging threats and exploits with no patches or updates available potentially rendering them obsolete or insecure over time uh, the last security issue is interoperability issues uh, that means uh, in in incompatible standards and protocols among iot devices from uh, different manufacturers uh, can lead to interoperability issues creating insecurity vulnerabilities and increasing the complexity of managing and securing the iot system okay so those are common iot security issues uh, now i think we are done with theory yes uh, we are done with the theory of uh, iot on the the syllabus and now let's look at uh, a sample not a sample not a, pa a past question that came in 2022 paper so the summer paper so in this paper question three is based uh, on iot Here's the question and if this is not clear, please uh, open the paper in your computer. Uh, you can download uh, the paper from the link I have given in the video description uh, from the Excel IT Guru website. Uh, and okay, so read, uh, <coughs> open the question from your uh, laptop so that you can easily read it. <coughs> A company sells security systems that use Internet of Things uh, devices the company is going to install an entrance security system for an office building uh, the building already has a local area network the specification for the security system states that the system will be controlled by an app on a pc connected to the lan an app, app on a mobile devices connected to the iot network a voice control device connected to the iot network uh, the entrance door will have a video camera that can send a display to the app, a lock that can be opened or closed by the app and which tells the app its current status. Uh, there will be an exterior light over the door that can be switched on or off via the app, comes on if movement is detected and the light level is below a set value. Okay, so it has given so much detail. Complete the diagram on the next page to produce a high-level design for an IoT system that will meet the specification. The LAN and one PC are indicated as boxes. No further LAN devices are required. Right. Okay. So in the left side, you can see the answer sheet they have given and the complete answer gives 9 marks. Uh, right side is the expected answer to get all that nine marks. Uh, so in these type of answers, you need to understand all required links, uh, the rather the connections, and also you need to indicate data flows with correct arrow head directions. It could be both ways, it could be single way. So in the uh, question, they have told us there's a mobile app and a web app and a LAN, right? So the uh, also, uh, as inputs, they have told they have a sound device, video camera, door lock, and exterior light with a light sensor and a motion sensor. So, basically, uh, we need to connect these five inputs to the mobile app and the PC uh, web app through an IoT server, right? So, if you can see in the answer sheet, uh, on to your left side, they have mentioned the app on the mobile device and the app on the PC. And uh, the PC is connected through a local area network to the IoT server. And the mobile app uh, is connecting to the IoT server directly. So uh, these connections have uh, arrowheads both ways because uh, you are sending data and you are also receiving data. So to the IoT server, we have connected five things. Uh, the exterior light uh, which has a light sensor and also a motion sensor and then uh, it also connects with the door lock 
IoT server can uh, send the uh, commands to the door lock uh, and also door lock can send information to the IoT server and then the video camera and also the video uh, voice control device because it uh, and it's connected to a sound sensor right uh, I, I it's good if you can close the answer and try to do it by yourself uh, so it gives you more practice and you can see where you are lacking second part of the same question is this uh, iot devices often feature in the news because of issues arising from weak security uh, discuss the security issues that the company's IT staff might have to deal with when installing and configuring the IoT elements of the system described in question 3.8. Okay, so elements of this system are the voice sensor, the video camera, the lock, uh, exterior light, the motion sensor, IoT server. So we can uh, we can think about these elements and uh, we can think about the issues that uh, has when installing and configuring the IoT elements. So we can add any security issues that impact when setting up the system from these elements. Common issues like uh, weak or no passwords applied by the manufacturers on these IoT devices and I, or else uh, it, they are also difficult in changing the default passwords. So the hackers can access these uh, IoT devices. When they access the IoT devices, they easily can access the uh, the LAN as well, which is a threat to the business or the company. And uh, using of Wi-Fi to operate devices gives uh, uh, easy network accessibility to intruders. And other IoT interfaces may be poorly documented and easy to hack. And there could be APIs with uh, low security or low authentication uh, issues. Uh, and the manufacturers does not provide uh, updates or patches with the latest vulnerabilities. So it could lead to security issues. So you can add the security issues that I mentioned now uh, and also the security mentioned uh, I mentioned in the uh, security issues slide. So for this, you get six marks. Right. So this is a question and also there's a IoT question in 2021 summer paper as well. Please check that as well after you go through this lesson and write yourself. Right. So with that, we have completed the entire chapter 16 of Emerging Technologies in three video lessons. This is the third one. Uh, first, we did the machine learning videos, which is 16.1 uh, under Emerging Technologies. And then we did 16.2, which is uh, virtual reality and augmented reality. And this is 16.3, which is uh, Internet of Things. So we are done with chapter entire chapter 16. Uh, so please go through the lesson. So uh, we will until we meet in a new lesson. Uh, good luck, guys. Uh, do your studies well.